So we're looking at activity networks and dummy activities. Now to do that, we're going to have to start off with a precedence table. And there we have it. Uh, now, let's start at the finish and move back and see what we get. Uh, so G is our only one that isn't a predecessor, so that's our final activity. Okay, there we have G. Now, the predecessor before G is E and F. So I'll set that one up there as E and set this one up here as F. Okay, uh, now let's deal with F. F has an immediate predecessor of C, so I'll do that one there like that. Okay, uh, E has immediate predecessors of C and D, and this is where the problem starts. Now, let's just deal with D for a second. E has an immediate predecessor of D, right? And now, hang on, C also needs to point to E, but it also needs to point to F. So C is the immediate predecessor of E and F. Now, that wouldn't be a problem, because uh, so, we could do something like this, right? We could go like, um, try to tidy it up a little bit. I could say, that C is the immediate predecessor of both E and F. And that's not a problem. And I just need to plug that D in there. So I'll put D in like that, right? But wait a minute, that's a problem too, because this picture seems to suggest that D is the immediate predecessor of E and of F. And it's not the immediate predecessor of E and F, it's the only the immediate predecessor of um, E. So what are we going to do? We're going to use something called a dummy activity. So I'm back to this stage. Um, now F has an immediate predecessor of C, that's fine, uh, as I'll show you in a minute. E has an immediate predecessor of D, that's also fine, right there like uh, that. And then I can draw in what's called a dummy activity using this dotted line. Now, what the dotted line, it's kind of like C in a little bit. It, it's saying, well, we need C as a predecessor to E, so this is the line that's going to join C to E. It's like a pretend activity that takes zero amount of time that happens between C and E, and it allows us to get around this problem, this problem, where two activities share some, but not all predecessors. So E and F share some, in this case they share C as a predecessor, but they don't share all because F doesn't have D in common with E. Okay, uh, we'll just finish this off now. So uh, C has a predecessor of A, um, D has a predecessor of B. And I really should have drawn a, a little more like that. And here is my starting position here. So those are dummy activities. We use dummy activities when we want to solve this problem. And of course, if you can work one way, you can work the other way. So here is a network, and now we're going to create our precedence table. All right, so let's go. We can start from the start, we can start from the end, I don't mind. Let's do a little bit from the start and a little bit from the end. So A is our starting one, which means it has no immediate predecessors. Done, I've done A. All right, what about B? B has an immediate predecessor of A and so does C. So A and C both have immediate predecessors. Easy, uh, I've done B, I've done C. Right, D, D has an immediate predecessor of B, done. Uh, let's do uh, this one. E has an immediate predecessor of C. We're getting dangerously close to that dotted line, which is what this video is all about. But for now, we're easy, easy done. Okay, let's look at uh, G. Uh, well, let's do things in order. Let's look at F. All right, so F is an arrow going downwards. And before F, we have D. But we also have this dummy activity, which is kind of the zero activity, the C plus activity. It's the activity that's leading from C. So we can call it like C in a bit or something like that. But 
it's actually just C. Before you do F, you have to do C and D. We just can't draw two lines with C, so we use this thing, a dummy activity. Okay, uh, what about G? Before G, we have to do um, D and this dummy activity, which is C. Um, C and D. Now, uh, you might be looking at F, but F is not before G. F is like before or during or concurrent with G. Okay, H. H has an immediate predecessor of E and F. You can see that's leading to H and that's leading to H. So E and F. I. I has an immediate predecessor just of G. And we have this dotted line here again leading to here, which means that J has an immediate predecessor of H and the dummy activity of G, which is G. So two here, G and that dummy activity, which is, uh, sorry, G, which is the dummy activity, and H, which is this one here. Okay, uh, those are activity networks. Those are dummy activities. And we use them when the problem is that uh, an activity has some immediate predecessors in common, but not all immediate predecessors in common.